Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Savannah, and these are my rescue pups, Gracie and Boomer. Today, you will not be seeing my face because I look like a bridge troll, and I'm just showing you something real quick. So what the dogs are sitting on here is what we like to call their bunk bed slash the lookout perch. Now our house doesn't have a front window. Our front window is in our bedroom. Without this, the dogs don't have a window that they're able to look out and keep themselves occupied when we're away during the day, as you can see Gracie doing right now. So we actually built this for them. I am going to show you guys it. Okay, so this is what the bunk bed slash lookout perch looks like from afar. It's kind of hard to get it in good view with the lighting here, but we actually built this ourselves other than this bottom part right here. Now this is actually one of those old wooden box TVs. We bought it off Kijiji, which if you're from the States, it's similar to Craigslist. We ripped out the TV and made it into a dog bed. We actually did this when we lived in a townhouse and underneath this mattress part on top, it's just wood on top. So we actually, when we lived in the townhouse, we used this as a dog bed, as Boomer is greatly demonstrating right now. But then on top, we put our TV. So that worked really well when we were in the townhouse. We used it as a TV stand and then Gracie would lay in there because we didn't have Boomer yet. But then when we moved here, we needed something so that the dogs could look out these windows and this was the perfect place to put something for the dogs. So Corey actually decided to add on these stairs. He just used some wood that we stained a similar color to the TV box. And then this carpet was actually left behind by whoever owned our house before. So underneath this is wood and then he carpeted it. Um, up here, I just for now have fabric covering this uh, plywood piece. And then this top mattress part is actually our old memory foam mattress that I have just wrapped in fabric. Now, I would love to recover this and actually sew something that fits it perfectly with my grandma. But for now, these are both just matching sheets. This is just glued onto here, and this is also just hot glued on the other side onto here, which I'm totally fine with for the time being because we use this cute uh, paw print blanket on top to make it a little bit more modern and just make it look nicer overall. So yeah, this is actually a memory foam mattress we were getting rid of anyways. It was really old, not really that comfortable anymore, and we weren't gonna try to sell it to somebody, so we actually cut it exactly to fit on top of this, covered it in the fabric, and it works perfectly. Then inside this part, as you can see, this is the type of TV that it was. I decided to keep this insert in here because I liked that you could tell that it's still um, a TV when we did leave it. I've been debating either taking these off or painting them, but haven't gotten around to that yet. So, Boomer Key, come out. Come here. Come on, bud. Good boy. So inside, there's another, <laughs> there's another foam piece, but this is a thinner foam. Since we did this before we got rid of the memory foam, we just bought a little foam piece. Again, this is just wrapped in fabric from Fabricland. I would love to actually properly cover this one day. We also have a dog blanket in here as the dogs like to jump in here and dig in it. Then we have some dog toys, which is nice because when toys are laying around in our room, Instead of having to bring them all the way downstairs to put it in their toy bucket, I can just throw them into the corner of this. And then on this side, I have this pillow Corey got me one year for Christmas of me and Gracie. And then this back part, we actually painted gold and I would love to repaint that one day too. <laughs> okay, so I've got Gracie up top here just to show you one more feature that we have just added to uh, this bunk bed lookout. Um, Corey actually got this security camera for Christmas and my dad got it for him so that he can actually look outside and kind of monitor our house because we don't have a living room front window. But this also works great for a doggy camera so I'm going to do a little recording on my phone if it'll let me what it kind of looks like. As you can see if I'm popping the recording up on the screen here, you can move it around. So you can either look outside, see what's going on out there, 
or you can turn it around and also monitor the dogs as well, which is awesome. And it's so cool that this lookout perch is set up right here because sometimes the dogs are sitting up top as you can see. Sometimes the camera's a little laggy. Oh yeah, see, now you can see me. So there's Gracie sitting on the perch right now and it's pretty cool because we can kind of keep an eye on the dogs throughout the day. Most of the time, honestly, they're just on our bed sleeping, but it's pretty funny to check in throughout the day and see that they are literally just still sleeping all day or looking out the window. If you are interested in purchasing this camera, it's actually off of Amazon and this is the model that we have. We have the 1080p. I know that you can also get a 720p as well, which is a little less expensive, but in general, these cameras really are very affordable. And some of the awesome things are is that there is two-way audio. So you can actually view what's going on on an app and you can press the little audio button. You can hear what's going on in the room that you have the camera, but you can also talk through the camera too. So if we talk to the dogs, they can hear us, which is really cool. There's also Zoom, works well, day and night. Uh, there's lots of cool, cool features here. Definitely not sponsored at all. It's just a cool new gadget that we have added to our setup here and it works really well for uh, us and the dogs. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, our little tour of the dog's bunk beds and lookout perch. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love to have you stick around by you subscribing down below. Thanks guys, have a great day.